Okay, everybody, so what I thought I'd do today is I thought maybe I'd give you a power usage comparison of these three heaters. Some of you probably know, you may hear people say things along the lines of, you know, get a newer heater, get rid of your old space heater. How many times have you heard things like that? Because the newer ones use less energy. But do they? Well, there's only one way to find out. And we're going to do a couple of tests to see just what each one pulls and to see whether those claims aren't very true or not true at all. So here's the three heaters that I'm going to be using today. Uh, right here is the uh, Markel heater. This one is from the, I'm going to say 1960s or 1970s. I remember I got this on eBay um, a couple of years ago. So um, I know that's, that's the general decade that it's in. And right here is a Geneva heater. And this is the Lasco heater. Both of these heaters are from 2020. So these are the uh, modern ones that we're going to be testing and see how they compare to the Markel heater. And of course, we're going to be using the watt meter so we can definitely get a good measurement of power usage and everything for when they are in use. Um, I'm not going to, well, let me put it this way. I'm also going to do um, heat output, but I'm, I'm going to do that more by feel because if some of you may remember on the videos I did on these heaters, uh, when I did the uh, temperature for this heater, it was measuring the metal inside, which came to like, what was it, like 400 some degrees. So obviously that, that's not going to be the most accurate. So I'm just going to have to do the heat output by feel as like a side comparison. But the main comparison is um, how much power is each heater going to be using on low and high? That one has an extra option. We'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, and what I have over here is I have this, I'll go down here, little index card. You can see I have the heater names. And what we're going to do is we're basically just going to write down how much watts and amps each heater uses on each setting. And, you know, we'll see which one has the lowest number. So this should be a pretty interesting test. I'm very curious to see how these two will operate. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to work our way left to right. So we're going to do the Lasco heater, then the Geneva heater, and then we're going to end with the Markel heater. So as of right now, you can see it's plugged in. I got the wattmeter. You can see the status light is on. So I got it plugged in right now, and you can see the status light doesn't really pull much of anything. So you can see we have good voltage coming in, and uh, don't worry about the kilowatt hours. We're not really, we're not really comparing that. So again, what we're going to compare uh, the wattage and the amperage with each heater. So let's go ahead and first things first, we'll put the thermostat up. Alrighty. And then we'll, we'll skip fan mode because it only uses like 400, uh, 400, wow, uh, 40 something watts. And we're going to go right to low and see what that pulls. So let's look at the uh, watt meter and we'll put this on low right now. You can see the, uh, the wattage increases as it warms up. And then I think it kind of settles down, if I remember correctly. You see, it's really climbing. Now it's kind of going back down. All right, so we'll come back uh, once it's all settled in temperature. Okay, the Lesco heater should be pretty much all settled by now. And just to show you that we have accurate settings, we are currently on low. And I have the thermostat all the way up, as you can see. Now we take a look at the, uh, at the watt meter. That's pulling a good amount of electricity, or let me say using a good amount of electricity and pulling a good amount of current. So we have roughly um, 927, uh, yeah, roughly 927, it's actually going up a little bit. Yeah, so we'll say 930 watts and about, oh, 7.95 amps. Yeah, it's just kind of kind of hovering around there, I guess. So over here on the uh, index card, you can see I put, made a little mistake there on top. So on low, it's using 928 watts and roughly 7.9 amps. And now we're going to test high. That's what the H there is for. All right, so now let's move this over to high and let's see how it does. Wow, that's really climbing up. All right, now it's kind of settling back down. All right, so we'll come back as soon as it's all settled. And once again, show the controls. We are on high, as you can see. And here's what we got. Pretty good amount. So we got... Um, 1448 uh, watts just about and about 12.5 amps so again on the index card you can see I wrote oh there we go you can see I wrote down the numbers for high and I do apologize one thing I forgot to mention with low was the heat output heat output on low <clears throat> you could feel it but it's not all that strong on high yes it is stronger but it doesn't reach out very far like um it, it goes about maybe the distance of this mat which I would say is roughly four feet so once you get kind of past that mark, maybe a little bit before, 
you're not really going to be feeling much. So heat output is stronger on this heater with high, of course. So that, that is it is significant in that regard. But in terms of heat overall, really not all, really not all that much. It's really meant for like a smaller space, definitely. So um, so in this heater, I would say is probably not all that strong. It does use a lot of uh, current, as you can see. So just for just for show, we'll put it to heat uh, to fan so it can cool down. And that's what it pulls on uh, fan mode, as you can see. Oh, 14 watts. I was actually wrong for before. <laughs> All right. So we'll go ahead and we'll let this cool down, and then we'll move over to the Geneva heater. Okay, now we have the Geneva heater all connected. Um, sorry for the orientation of the uh, watt meter. The, the, the heater's cord is pretty thick, and it's kind of cold down here right now. The basin's only like 55 degrees right now, so the cord's kind of uh, stiff and want to hold its position. So there we, are, there we are right now, and I'll turn the switch on because I know this has one of those disconnect switches. All right, and, and that's not for comparison purpose. I'm just showing you what, what that uses when the uh, electronics are turned on. All right, so by default, I think this heater turns on turns on high mode um, to start. So we'll, I, we'll we'll record high mode first, then we'll start, then we'll go to low. So let's turn it on and see how it does. There's low, and there's high. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let that warm up like the Alasco heater did, and we'll come back. All right, heater's all settled. So we're using about 1338 watts and 11.58 11.5 amps and I have it indicated here on the index card that eight looks kind of weird because I had a zero at first and I had to I was like oh whoops wrong thing so I fixed it the best I can but check that out the uh the Geneva heaters are definitely larger than the Lasco but you can see it's definitely using um like a 110 watts less and um one amp less than the uh, Lasco so that's pretty interesting about that and in terms of heat output um Definitely goes out further. Like I'm standing here at the end of the mat, which again is about four feet, and I can still feel some airflow coming from the vents. So it's definitely putting out more. It, it, the heat travel is definitely going out further than the Lasco. Probably the only thing I'm noticing is the air may not be quite as hot as the Lasco, but to be fair, that, that could be because for one thing it has a different heat source, like different coils, and also because if the if more air is being drawn through it, it may, they may not heat up as much just because of the extra airflow. So that, that, that could be why it's doing uh, the way it is doing. But I mean, look at that. It reaches out further. Definitely a larger heater, as you can see. But we're definitely using less than the Lasco heater. And uh, just to show again. All right. So let's go ahead and switch this to low and see what it does. And now it's on low. And we are settled for the most part on low. So as you can see, we have roughly 704 watts and about 5.95 amps. Uh, we'll round that up to uh, 6.0. And here it is on the index card. Now again, look at the difference between the Geneva heater and the Lasco heater. Look at that, almost a 220 watt different, difference almost, just about. See that? That's very interesting. And uh, amps are lower too, as you can see. So, so far, the, the larger heater is actually, these are both the modern ones, the larger heater is using less overall than the smaller one. And uh, heat output, um, again, you can still feel it towards the end of the mat, but obviously it's not as warm because it's in low now. Uh, but definitely still does reach out farther than, than the Lasco one does. I say it's about maybe, let me see, maybe just a tad warmer than the Lasco heater on low, but um, not all by that much, but it definitely does reach out further. So definitely uh, more coverage with, um, and less usage with the larger heater. Check that out. And just for the heck of it, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and put this in cooldown mode. And uh, that's what it uses in cooldown mode. Just about the same. All right, so next up, we will go ahead and try the Markel heater. Uh, just a couple of notes on this heater. Uh, this heater does have more than just two modes. As you can see, I, I indicated that on my uh, index card here. Now, on the models that have the knob, um, low is the radiant heat 
medium is the fan force heat, and high is both of them. So I'm going to take into account uh, just, just those three modes and see how it goes, just to get the most accurate reading as we possibly can. Now, interestingly enough, even though the radiant heat is considered low, I think I find it to be a little bit stronger than the other one. But we'll go ahead and do the test and see how it performs compared to the other two. So we'll just go ahead and look at the watt meter and turn on the radiant heat. Alright, and, and as usual, we'll let it heat up, and then we'll come back. And we have settled. But now take a look at that. 658, 659 roughly, and 5.55 amps. So we compare it to the Lesco and the Geneva. <clears throat> look at that. On both heaters, compared to both heaters, the Markel one is using less power. Check that out. Now, now admittedly, yes, I do believe Markel still makes this kind of heater today. But again, this heater is a good, possibly 30, 40 years older than these heaters. And you can just see, for its low mode, it's pulling less. <clears throat> and just for proof again. I mean, really, what else could you say? <laughs> All right, so, <clears throat> so now let's go ahead and test the... Oh, before I forget, the, um, the heat output. You can still feel it a little bit at the end of the mat. Now, obviously, because there's no fan, it's not being pushed out as much like the Geneva heater. But I can tell you right now, just the, the general feel, if I'm saying that correctly, is stronger. Like, it's definitely a higher temperature. Like, if I put my hand towards the grate, and please, disclaimer, don't touch the heater while it's operating. Um, if, if I put my hand kind of near here, you can definitely, like, feel the heat stronger than both the Geneva and the Lasco when it was on high. This definitely has a stronger output. Well, let me, let me say, definitely a higher temperature for its radiant heat, by far. So let's go ahead and turn off the radiant heat. And for what would be the medium mode, we're going to switch this over to the fan-forced heat. And let's see how this does here. Fans on. And we've pretty much settled now. So we got 600 and roughly 639, 640 watts and 5.4 amps. Now what's interesting is, even though the heater is currently running the fan, as you can hear, it actually uses a little bit less wattage than the low setting. Well, what would be the low setting if it had a knob, believe it or not. So it is kind of interesting. I do wonder if this actually holds true on the newer Markel heaters, because I've noticed on some of the newer ones, I think the coil for the fan-forced heat is just a little bit larger than the one for the radiant heat. So that might be why maybe, I don't know, I haven't checked, maybe it's why this one uses less with the fan force heat and the radiant heat. Now in terms of um, in terms of a heat output, at the end of the mat, I will admit you don't really feel anything. But I think what I think the way that, that they designed these Markel heaters was the fan forced heat was designed in such a way to um, move the heat upwards more as it's running. Now granted obviously warm air does naturally rise, but again I think that's what they did with this heater was for the fan forced heat option, they have the heat go up more than they do forward with the radiant heat. So maybe like you know if it's on a floor or things like that and you want the air to go up more, um, that would make that would kind of make more sense actually. But again as you can see even with the fan running, um, less wattage. That's very interesting. And look it's still it's still pulling much less wattage than both the, well, uh, yeah, than the Geneva, and a lot less than the Alaska, that's for sure. I mean, look at that difference. All right, now we'll go, now we'll go ahead and put the radiant heat back on, and we'll see how it, how it does with what would be its high setting. So back to the meter. Yep, climbing back up. And once it settles, we will be back. All settled once again. So we have roughly um, 1244 in watts, or 1243 and about 10.7 amps and it was at about 12, 12, 1242 when I wrote it down before but just about the same thing but I mean look look at the Lasco, look at the Geneva and look at the Markel we'll get to that more in just a little bit so right now uh, again heat output kind of the same as before uh, with the radiant heat you can kind of feel it towards over here again maybe not quite as far as the Geneva but the temperature from this heater there is no contest I mean I, again I put my hands by here again don't touch the heater when it's operating please I, I put my hand uh, around here and feel it it is such a strong 
temperature of heat. And that's probably the best way to put it, put it, okay? This will definitely heat a room. This heater will do a fantastic job. And it's also kind of dual function, as you can see, because again, you have the radiant heat going forward and you have the fan forced heat going more upwards. And as you can see with its high mode, there you go. So this heater has no cool down mode, but we'll just go ahead and turn it off. And I mean, you saw, it just really fantastic, let me tell you. And there you guys go. I mean, this index card says it all. And you can see, I didn't make up those numbers. You saw yourself. Those are, exact, those are the exact numbers that you saw on the watt meter as the heaters were operating. And the Markel definitely did the job with less energy usage. I mean, compare the Markel to the Lasco. I mean, look at, look at that difference. That's amazing. So, so like, you know, the, uh, the point to take here is, you know, if, uh, if you think, you know, hey, I just bought a new heater, I'm using less energy, you might want to think twice about that statement, because as you saw, that vintage one beat both of these by far. Maybe one argument you can make is that, you know, these two have thermostats, this one's on all the time, but again, most of these heaters do have a thermostat. This particular model I found just had the separate switches, and I, I personally just wanted to get it because I thought it was kind of unique. But you saw for yourself, for all its heat modes, this Markel used less. So if you have a vintage heater, if you have one that's, again, like 20 plus years old, I'd say keep it because you never know, you could buy a new heater that could be using more energy than your old one, and you won't be saving anything. And there you guys go, all right? There was the test of the vintage heater and the two modern heaters. You clearly saw the, um, the Markel heater did uh, a much better job it had much higher temperature output now again if, if by chance you don't believe me on that claim please by all means get these heaters for yourselves and you will see this type of heater definitely did the job now again like i said i know markel makes i think still makes these heaters today but once again 60s and 70s or 70s 2020 there you go so vintage for the win thank you very much for watching and take care